Okay, anger management. Uh, the lighting here is low, and that's why you might see grainy. I love photography, so this is the effect I'm going for at this point. The In this video, it's because we want something random sometimes. We just don't want something always just plain Jane. So here's something random, something else for your brain to work on. But let's jump into, um, please subscribe. So let's jump into the um, grabbing something. Click, I like clicking stuff. So um, apparently. The uh, anger management. What is anger management? Can a person be angry by themselves? Only they're, they're angry. People are angry at conclusive files when things don't go their way. And that's because they've made up a conclusive file. Everything, all my videos will show you how to, how to be your own psychologist, how to be your own psychiatrist. If you, most well, psychologists more so, if you just pay attention that everything is because you have a conclusive file that was triggered everything. So for example, this, you might think that I work at Costco, but you didn't finish reading it. It's for a children's event. It was a charity. Sorry, wrong side. So when I say, you know, if I were to say something different, you might get quickly triggered by that, upset. It just happened to be the shirts they were selling for, for their charitable event. Um, anything that we make a conclusive file on and, we've, and we're then found to be wrong on is an attack on us unless we accept that, oh, I was wrong about that. So the best thing I can do in this short video is teach you how to accept, I was wrong about that. Very, very difficult to do. Very difficult. Um, okay, I got someone else calling me. Um, very difficult to do. So how do, we, how do we resolve this? We cannot. As long as we have a conclusive file, we need to accept new data coming in before we can make a new conclusive file. So anger upsets you if someone cheats on you. You're angered because you thought you owned that person and that person violated your ownership. That's an attack on you. And everything we own, you'll be surprised what we find out we own. For example, um, you own every, your clothing. And if I were to attack your clothing and say your clothes look kind of creepy or whatever, I'm talking about your clothing, not you, but you own it. So you feel the attack and you put it as an attack on yourself going, yeah, but these are my clothes. I own them. You're talking about my clothes. You see how childish that was? I'm saying that you're hijacked at that point, that you were taken over by the amygdala parts of our brain. Our amygdala protects all conclusive files, and that includes anything we own. And you'll be surprised what you own. You'll be very surprised um, of what you own. So I'm doing this because I'm quite hot. Just got in, and I wanted to do a quick video uh, my second video on this channel. I do have a, two other channels, but I want to play with this channel for a while and see what I can focus on. I do engineering. Um, so psychology now. Everything we own. Look at this uh, this book I'm showing you. See what kind of book? What kind of book? What kind of reading is in this book? Right? Well, you own that. It's not a book. It's a paperclip. And so you might have said, "Where is he going with this? It's not a. It's not a book." What is he talking about? That's the point I just made. You own that this is not a book. And so I'm attacking you if I keep talking about this book. It's a childish thing you would think, but the amygdalas are very childish. Two of them. Very childish, I call it. Very petty. This is the key to all your issues. Everything. Um, I got into a, a, a dispute. You can say dispute, right? With my, uh, my, my girl over... Um, a job offer she was getting, and I thought she should go with the one with the more money. Why? I made a conclusive file she should go with the more money. She made the conclusive file that she didn't make a conclusive file yet, that it's still whatever, And but I felt as though she was going with a job that she liked more than the one she didn't even try out yet at a significant amount of money, um, chemical engineering, and it's, it's a lot more money over in this other department. But So I made the file, and so we get into an argument over that. What are we doing? We have two conclusive files that we're challenging each other, other on. And I have data backing up why my file is right. And she has data why her file is right. We've got two conclusive files. There is no middle ground on that. There's only me accepting that. There's only me accepting that I'm wrong because I don't own her future. I don't own her future, even though to me it makes sense that you would go for more money. Gosh, it's, I'm really sweaty here. Um, so I don't, I was out in the grass, so it's probably grass and things like that on me. They're irritating me. That's my 
thinking. All right, so, so I don't own her future, but yet I have a stake in it, right? So you think you do, and so therein, therein our, lies the fight. So all I can do is say, after we fight for so long, is I have to accept that this is, you know, I'm fighting because of my conclusive file. So I send her a text saying, I apologize for, uh, for my position. That's it. That's the best thing I can teach you in this video is to just start learning the words, I apologize for my position. That's all that's going on here. You're not right. You're just arguing over your inclusive file. You're not right when it comes to someone else. You're only arguing over your position. Um, I want to end this video with that, and you guys can comment there. And I can add more to it in, in a video response, which I would love to do. So if you have any questions about what I'm saying to you, I can prove it in so many ways. Um, let me end it with this one, I don't, and I'll probably end it with a lot with this one. $1,000 challenge, you can't call this blue shirt, whatever you might appear to look at to you, a red color. You can't call this red. You can't call it red because you have a conclusive file. It's any color besides red that you come up with. Maybe it's blue or purple in your, in your screen, but not red unless you happen to have it red-toned. Um, that it's not red, and you can't, for $1,000, call, and you can't even extrapolate that, well, I can call it red because of this red. I'm talking about the general large purpose of this shirt. The large mass of the shirt you can't call it red because you have a conclusive file that it's closer to blue or purple or whatever color you're seeing it as and this for a thousand dollars you cannot do and this is how beautiful the amygdala is it can be but it's also a petty little thing and it, it's uh it's something else so you can't call this red and mean it in other words every time you see this color you're like that's red now for a thousand dollars you'll say no the value is not there It'll drive me crazy. No one will understand it. You'll have another. You'll have data running that goes, no, we can't do that. Even for $1,000, we can't do it. So, terminating the video. Enjoy. And I'll do a lot of stuff like that. And I'll show you the key is your data. You've got to change your data or apologize for your file, for your, for your current position, if you're in an argument. All right. Other thing is learn how to say I love you. I'm going to leave that when you're practicing saying I love you to yourself and to others. They can burn you, yes. All right, so I don't even know you guys. I love you. Just say it. And um, you have to learn how to say it again. There's nothing wrong with love. Yes, you will get burned.